Hey, good morning. It's Saturday morning. I don't usually do my walking talks on the weekends. But I didn't do a lot of them this week. And uh, last night something happened that was amazing. So I, I go to went to intercession last night. And when I, I don't usually... Um, yeah, I profess anything. You know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, clear my thoughts and... And I'm trying to open myself up to, to the Lord, right? And uh, and I, well, I usually have no thing in my mind, no intention. The only thing that I was bothered last night was with uh, my car. I got this one last little thing I need to get done and to pass my my inspection so I can get my, renew my tags. And I uh, wasn't able to get that little thing done. And that was bothered me, but that was it, right? And then, uh, so guys, people started talking, and you know about what's happening in the church, and and uh, you know what's happening, you know, with government and business, and and uh, and then the the com- the company in Brenham, <laughs> and I got a appointment in the Zoom meeting scheduled with the director of this advanced uh, trade school for manufacturing trades. You know, CAD drawing, advanced CAD drawing, advanced welding, uh, you know, water jet cutting, laser, or uh, plasma cutting, that, that kind of, you know, st- stuff. And, uh, you know, I just went in there, see if they could give me an opportunity to talk to their people about, you know, finances. So, you know, when they do start making more money, when they graduate, that they'll, they want to find a place to put their money, they think of me. <laughs> and, and, uh, and I told the guy, they, you know, uh, I, I steer people, I refer people to different trade schools, you know, to learn something like H- HVAC tech schools and, you know, different school, different trades. And because if they make more money, then I can do something with them. And he goes, you ought to start a, you ought to start an apprenticeship program. So that night I went to church, right? And I'm talking to Ryan, telling him where I went and what I, he goes, we've got a, we've got a, a, uh, apprenticeship program we need like 36 people with and so it took me a while to get this guy's attention because i think he just wanted me to come in and and talk to the students and i'm like finally he you know he missed an appointment and he's like what's this about i said well they have a apprenticeship program in brenham they need like 36 people and he's like cool right he, you know the his ears perked up and and he started paying attention right and ryan's excited i'm excited right and so i'm sitting there thinking about how these people are going to be coming out of this this trade school with these advanced skills ready to go excited right motivated uh enthusiastic you know uh, want you know striving to to work in their field and to to establish themselves and you know to produce and and earn and then all of a sudden I started thinking about what if they understood they're doing it for the kingdom a kingdom right what what how how motivated with and I'm thinking about myself I'm thinking about you know when I joined the SEAL teams you know I joined the military because what happened in 1979 with the the uh, hostage scenario you know when they took over the embassy and I was going to join the military and get some respect for our country and I was really naive but there was enough of us that thought that way that we made a difference man but there was all kinds of things happened um you know, because of like-minded people, you know, getting it done. 
and this is the same situation same situation when they when they realize oh man what what they can do with you know what they're gonna be able to do with us it I'm just so man and also one of the guys oh opened up the door for me to basically say this is the vision I got this is God this is the vision God gave me right and how it would be to be around that atmosphere it'd be it'd be addictive it'd be you know the, that level of competency that level of drive right you know and something tangible it's that's something right I remember you know talking to somebody about the the symbolism and rituals and in the Catholic Church and telling them you know that it's designed to reach in people at the lowest level those ones that say listen I don't get this faith thing just tell me what I gotta do right well we're literally gonna have something tangible you know that, that doing working in their chosen field for the kingdom and that amazing that's gonna be amazing right that's just gonna be it's gonna blow up all right so I'm excited about to get on a podcast with uh, Jason Cisneros on the uh, built to exit um, the chairman project right and this will fit right in because he's all these business all these businesses he's consulting with right they're gonna need these skilled people right you know this is gonna be a good tie-in I got another group that's got a employment agency this is gonna be this is gonna blow up all right have a great day